We're here in our pollinator garden looking at some zinnias. We've got one of our native bees. It's got just full of pollen. Look at those back legs just full of pollen there. So we grow a lot of flowers in our vegetable garden and that might seem counterintuitive but they support each other. So all these flowers, while they may not be edible, they contribute to our wonderful large vegetable garden here. So we have some echinacea right here. It's a native plant. And you can see we've got lots of bees visiting. And then we also have um, some rudbeckias back there. A lot of blanket flower right now. Blanket flower can get, um, it can expand a lot. So I would definitely recommend doing it if you have a larger garden. Um, it can get a little bit, not necessarily weedy, but it can get uh, pretty aggressive versus some other plants. We have some preparing for the fall here. It looks like we have some goldenrod. This is wan goldenrod. And so that'll start blooming in the fall. That's a big favorite of bees. And so by offering these different kinds of flowers and at different times of the year, um, we can offer our pollinator friends, you know, they work with us in the garden. And so we offer them an extra meal. So by bringing them here with, you know, Gallardia and all these other species, we hope that they will also visit our vegetable plants, especially those ones that rely on um, insect pollination, such as like squashes, uh, cucumbers, and others in that family. And not to mention other vegetables that would like some pollination as well. So we can get some nice fruit going in the garden. You can see our larkspur here is just finishing up for the season. That will go to seed. And that's an annual, it'll just reseed itself. Um, but then the seeds itself are, are nice too. So we leave, sometimes we leave the seed heads up for, you can see this kind of desiccated seed head for birds to come in and eat the seeds as well. Echinacea is another great one back there for uh, great overwinter seed heads. Um, so you can see we've got a good mix of annuals and perennials here in this little pollinator garden attached to our vegetable garden. And you can see it goes all the Vegetable garden goes all the way down there and then all the way back. And they all benefit from this one little patch of pollinators.